Hey guys, thank you for watching another video here. So this title is, um, I, I like to come up with catchy creative titles. And so this title was just kind of something that really struck me as fascinating. Uh, fat loss versus fit gain. Um, a lot of people are um, drawn to fat loss or weight loss and uh, rightfully so. I mean, it's a, it's a, um, it's a commendable goal. Um, it, t it typically tends to be associated with improved health, although not all the time. Um, but what I want to discuss here is that how, you know, sometimes too much emphasis can be placed on vanity and aesthetics, whereas when it comes to the greater, the grander scheme of things, our fitness is really what's going to be uh, what we can really hang our hat on. It's most important in life. And... Uh You guys know me. Um, I am a fat loss expert. There's no question, um, and uh, I, I know how to get. I know how to stay ripped and stay lean. But the way I do it is, I make cardio really cool. Um, a lot of channels that I've noticed, or, or, or you know, media outlets that talk about health and fitness and fat loss and so forth, they tend to really kind of put more more precedence and emphasis on fat loss. You guys have seen videos, if you haven't seen a video that I've made on sugar loss versus fat loss, I talk about how it's important to actually burn sugars. Um, how it's important to, because being a better sugar burner means you're going to be able to train at a higher intensity. And you're going to be able to get more of the fitness benefits that I'm talking about in this video, which is fit gain. Okay? So there are studies that show that regardless of, and a lot of times when we get tested, you see all these videos out there on channels about bowel markers, right? They talk about a ketogenic diet and how it has improved these biomarkers. And then you talk about, you know, like biomarkers like autophagy, um, insulin, um, you know, glucose, um, you know, cognitive health, all those different markers that are related to that. Um, so, but what we're missing here is fitness. On a ketogenic diet, um, well, ketogenic diet has been shown to improve uh, endurance particularly, but not really high-end endurance, which doesn't really improve your high-end fitness level. It's more like low fitness level endurance. Um, carbohydrates are what's going to really kind of be the fuel to challenge your lungs and your heart in a way that's going to boost your VO2 max as well as your lactate and your, and your ventilatory thresholds respectively. Um, In other words, it will allow you to be able to train at a, at a faster pace, more economically. So if we're not losing fat, we better be getting fitter. If we're losing fat, we better not be becoming less fit, okay? It, it is possible to be thin and unhealthy. Um, it is also possible to be fat and fit. Now, let's not misconstrue being fat and fit with being healthy. You can be healthier and I'm not going to get into this because I was just reading some research. It's really kind of very uh, intriguing and it may be a future video. There are some paradoxical situations when it comes to obesity and overweight and being fit and ver ver being healthy or not. There's a lot of, um, seems to be some genetic factors there. So I'm not going to touch on that and that's outside of the scope of this video. The, this, the purpose of this video is to really kind of put more emphasis on fitness. Yes, fat loss is, can be associated with many he health parameters and improve health, but a lot of times people fall prey to putting all their eggs in that basket. And if we're not losing fat, then we lose motivation. Well, with my clients, we focus on fitness. Um, the fatness factor comes later. Um, that tends to be, that fatness really depends on a lot of factors. It's not just what we do. In fact, when it comes to fat loss, I would say that, and many would agree that uh, diet plays a key role in that. But when it comes to fitness, diet can play a key role, but you're not going to get fitter just by how you eat. We've got to actually go out there and, you know, and, and, and uh, hit the ground running, you know, and, and, and literally become fitter. So I have a background in triathlon. Um, I, 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 love, I love triathlon. It, take, it combines the three most effective uh, aerobic activities for fitness, uh, swimming, biking, and running. And, um, and, and so I have a big, I have a big um, you know, appreciation for fitness. I test myself, I test my clients. We test the resting heart rate. 
we'll test the recovery heart rate and, and, and we just base it on that and, and we continue to work on getting fitter. Again, the fatness factor comes, there's genetic factors there. If I were to work with someone, I'd, I'd have to get to know them and I'd have to feel them out and get to know kind of what they do in terms of daily living, how active they are during the day. There's a lot of different mechanisms that occur. For instance, if we sit for a prolonged period of time, you're actually indirectly inducing um, you know, signals in your body, uh, pathways that are related to um, you know, exp uh, expressing various factors in your body. Um, I think one of them is, um, what is it called? Uh, well, anyway, when you sit down for a long period of time, I believe it can increase lipogenic factors in your body. So when you're active and physically active and moving a lot and not really sitting for too long, you're, you're kind of reinforcing the signal of your body to continue, continue to use to burn food stuff and energy uh, stores and, sub, and those kinds of things. So, um, so yes, I'm a fat loss expert and um, I have a very fast, I mean, I never was always ripped. Um, I was always lean, but now it's to a point where I'm always ripped and it's because I know how to eat. I know when to eat, I know how to eat, I know all these different factors. And even if I start to kind of, you know, maybe I'll like, you know, add fat or whatever, I know how to get myself back really quickly. Um, I'm very, I am very precise, I have precision assessment tools that I use uh, among, for myself as well as my clients. But I wanna wrap this up guys, so the most important thing is fitness, okay? You're not gonna hear that from a lot of other channels. They're gonna sell you, you know, different crazy diets and they'll sell you, uh, you know, hitting the weights hard and that kind of thing. But we have to ask ourselves a question, that kind of mechanical loading from weight training is beneficial, we get it, but across the lifespan, it may not be a sustainable uh, method as far as retaining fat loss. Really, what's sustainable is what's based on reputable health organizations, which is who I'm certified with, American College of Sports Medicine. So I do weight training, but also do cardio, and cardio needs to be respected and, and acknowledged. And I'm probably one of the few channels who actually talks up cardio in a positive way, and we should be talking it up because it's so beneficial for our human health. Um, so that's why when you come to my channel, it's pro science, not bro science. I do both forms of training. Cardio is key. There was a time where I didn't do cardio, and it did nothing more than just bulk me up, uh, bulk me up, and bloat me up. Yeah, I got real strong, but how functional was I? I lost mobility. Um, I lost fitness. It was just is a big mess. Digestion slowed down. Just everything was just slower and just, just kind of just, just hunking around. Just added weight. Um, I want functional mass, functional muscle mass, functional strength, um, and functional body fat for that matter. Uh, bet you never heard that term. So, anyhow, that's all I wanted to say, guys. Fitness is most important thing. VO two max. Want to improve our heart health. And uh, it's going to improve your metabolic rate. It's going to just—it's just going to be overall healthy for the body. Um, we don't have to do crazy with the cardio. We're not going to do ultra marathons and that kind of thing. It's, it's a whole separate—you know—it's a whole separate scenario. Um, I, I like to like—I like to get get the best and leave the rest. My cardio is very time efficient. It's very time effective. And um, so, fitness is most important. Fatness is important but oftentimes it just gets overplayed. So with that, uh, feel free to uh, share this video, like it, subscribe if you haven't, guys, and uh, you can drop your questions and comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Tune in next time.